Assalamualaikum. Hello, dear students. How are you? I hope you all are fine and safe. Dear students, you all are enjoying live class festivals of Panchori Online Primary School, right? Dear students, today is the second day of this festival, and I am before you to take your English for today, especially for the students of class four. So, dear students, let me introduce myself. This is Rupa Mulli Grupu, assistant teacher, Tintigit Government Primary School, Khagrachuri. Dear students, uh, today I am I am here to take a very important grammatical classes for you. So, let us start our class. At first, I like to show you some words. Dear students. What can you see here? Some word, right? Here is cook. Here, cooked. Cook, cooked. Then, walk, what? Visit, visited. Work, worked. Play, played. Everybody, repeat after me. Like, liked. Then, love, loved. Name, <coughs> named, try, tried, study, studied, make, made, then go, went, have, had, read, read, be, was or was, see, saw, eat, Students, we have read all the <coughs> words. Do you know what kind of words is this? We know cook is a word. But we say that cooked. Why do we can say cook as cooked? I need made first simple tense. Okay? Uh, now I like to declare our today's lesson. Our today's lesson is past simple tense. Unit 33, lesson 3 and 4. So please dear students open your book page number 67. And now I hope you all have opened your book. Dear students, here is some words. Uh, at very first I like to uh, discuss about the words related uh, as our topics, with our topics. Look, here uh, I have write, cook, write and read, right? So dear students, look at the... Uh, Matching picture of these words. Here is cook. We can see a uh, woman is cook something. So what can we say in Bengali? Cook, ranna kora. Cook, ranna kora. Right? Then right. Right. Look at the picture. Right. We can see a picture that someone is writing something, right? Yes, it means lekha. Right? Lekha. Then, read. Read means, we can see a boy is reading a book. So, read means, poda. Another word, work, wash, tip. Walk mean we can see someone is walking, some person are walking. So walk mean hata. Walk hata. Right? Then wash. Wash. Look at the picture. Uh, someone is washing his or her hand with water and soap. Wash. I hope you can understand that wash means dhoto kora. Right? Then teeth. Teeth. You can see a smiling mouth and here is teeth. So teeth means dant. Dear students, I hope you all have, uh, uh, you all are introduced perfectly with these words, with their uh, Bengali meaning. Now, 
I have to discuss before you about the activity about activity A from your text. Complete the paragraph with the first simple hands of the verbs in brackets. Dear students, look at your book. Here is the activity A, right? And we can see a picture here. In this picture, what can we say? You have to complete uh, a paragraph by this picture, by answering some words from this picture, okay? In this picture, we can see some boys and girls are playing. They are so exciting. They are, yeah, they are maybe in a, uh, they are going to visit a forest. So now, uh, we have to complete the paragraph that are in our text, right? Have you this paragraph in your text? I have also the paragraph in my text, okay? Now, uh, complete the paragraph with the past simple tense of the verb in brackets, right? Okay, look, here is, hi, I am Shamim, I am Shamim, yesterday I, here we can see a word in bracket, it's go, so we have to write the first simple uh, tense here. So what can we write here? I have discussed with you about the first simple tense of this word, okay? Hi, I am Shamim yesterday, yesterday. I dash to go, uh, dash to the park with my family. We can see go here and our answer will went. Go is the present form and went is the first form, okay? We dash some sandwiches and some fruits. We, here we can see have and have is the present form. The first form is had, right? We had some sandwiches and some fruit. We dash on the grass. We dash, we can see sit here. And what will be the first tense here? Sit, sat. Yes, we sat on the grass and dash uh, for a long time. Here is a word in brackets. It's talk. So dear students, what is the first form of uh, talk? Do you imagine? imagine? Can you imagine what will be the uh, words here? Yes, you are right. This is talked. Uh, and talked for a long time. It dash a beautiful day. What will be the answer? Dear students, can you guess it? Yes, I hope you can guess it. It was a beautiful day. The sun dash in the sky. The sun, here we can see shine. Shine is the present form of this word. And what will be the first form? It will be shown. The sun shone in the sky. After eating, I dash with my brother and sister. Here is play as the answer. So you have to write the past from. So you have to write played. You have to uh, write played. After eating, I played with my brother and sister. We dash and dash through the trees. We dash. Here is a word, jump. So, we have to write the past from. It will be jumped. We have to use ed with jump. So, it, uh, it will make jumped. Okay? We jumped and we jumped and ran. Here is run and we have to write ran for make it past form. Throw the trees. Then we dash, uh, dash home in the car. There is go. And at uh, very first we have write go, went. So we have to use went here also. Then we went home in the car. The traffic dash heavy. The traffic was heavy. So we dash in the car for a long time. We where? Here is we so that you have to use where. If uh, here is a single word.
words uh, he or I that time you can use where uh, was but here is we so we have to use where right so we were in the car for a long time but it does a good day it was a good day so dear students I have complete uh, the paragraph with the appropriate past tense words in this uh, blank uh, blank sentence so dear students I hope you all can uh, fill up this blank sentence. Now it's time to discuss about activity B from your text. Look, here is a prayer word. Answer the questions in your textbook. Here is the activity B. And uh, activity B is made with some questions. So try to answer all the questions, dear students. First question Where did Shamim go? Where did Shamim go? In this paragraph, we have read that Shamim is going to the park. Okay? Yes, the answer is to the park. Now, the second question. Who did he go with? <coughs> who did he go with? Can you guess the answer that who, who do uh, he go with? Yes, you are right. With his family. Or Shamim uh, is going to the park with his family. Number three, what did he eat? What did he eat in the park? What will be the answer, dear students? Yes, I hope you can answer. The answer is some sandwiches and some fruits, right? Okay, then another question, question number four. Where did he sit? Where did Shami sit? Okay, match your answer with me on the grass, right? Shami sit on the grass. Number five. What did he do with his brother and sister? What did Shami do with his brother and her and his sister? Yes, I hope you can answer is he played. He played with his brother and sisters. Then, how was the traffic on the way home? When they are uh, back to their home that time, how was the traffic on the way? Dear students, do you guess the answer? Okay, let me match your answer with me. The traffic was heavy. The traffic was heavy. And I hope you all can uh, match your answer and your answer is correct. Now, it's time to discuss about activity C. Dear students, look, here is write one sentence about what you did yesterday. You did your sentence to your group. You did your sentence to your group that what you did yesterday. Here is some examples for you. First, yesterday I walked to school. Yesterday I ate rice and vegetable. By this, you have to write some sentence that have uh, you done yesterday. And in these sentences, you have to use the first form of the words. Which words? The verb. Okay? Okay, dear students. Now, uh, I like to give you a home task. Dear students, write 10 sentences using simple past form as like as activity C. In activity C, you have, uh, you have some examples that someone done something yesterday. Here. So, you have to write 10 sentences like this. Like this example that you have done before uh, someday or you have done yesterday, okay? So please write 10 sentences with using simple past tense. Okay, dear students, so what have you learned today? Today I have discussed before you about some words. Uh, we say that these are past C 
simple words okay so please dear students read attentively about this lesson again and enjoy all the class from panchari online family schools life festivals okay dear students thank you for participate with me allah peace